How you doing? This is Sean McVay with Sean's Outdoor Adventures and in this video I'm going to do a review on the Spot Hog Whippersnapper release. I actually have both versions of this release. This one is a closed head, this one is an open head. And it'll be clear once I close the jaw. So both jaws are closed. As you can see on this one, the jaw comes over and comes in contact with that side of the release. This is an open head so you can just hook it onto your D-loop while it's in the position ready to be fired. Now this particular model has actually been discontinued from what I understand and it's I guess just not as popular as the closed head model. The thing I want to talk about right now is the trigger itself. Uh, I'll also mention that I have these releases tethered to wrist strap release straps and these straps are actually made by Trueball. I just had extra ones laying around from old releases that I used to use and I tethered them to it. My reason for doing that is, as I mentioned in some other videos, I have really bad arthritis and if I just hold this release after a while, just after shooting and shooting and shooting, my fingers start to really hurt bad and when I first started shooting with this release, after a couple hundred shots, it actually slipped out of my hand one time, which is one of the reasons why I went to tethering them to release. That's a nice thing about the Spot Hog release is it, this particular one, the Whippersnapper, there's a hole here where you can put cord through to tether it. And I used D-loop material, so it's extremely strong. And I tethered it to this wrist strap. Let me just go ahead and put it on real quick. So now the way I'm using it is I have it tethered and it fits right to my fingers there. So when I'm at full draw, I technically could let go of this if I wanted to but the wrist strap is taking most of the, the, you know, the exertion of the process off of my fingers. Um, but the key thing that I like about the whippersnapper release is the trigger is really smooth. And the whippersnapper, when you close the trigger, the head closes as well, as you can see it there. It works the same on both the open head and the closed head. So when you push the trigger close, it closes that. The reason why I'm pointing that out is because the Friday Night Delight uh, release that Spot Hog has, which I also did a review video on, when you close the trigger, you also have to make sure that the, this is pushed down. So you sometimes have to physically push that, the, the latch back into position to lock in. You don't have to do that with the whippersnapper. So, that's one of the reasons I really like this release. Um, another reason is this comparing it to the Friday Night Delight, the hook comes out past the end of your fingers, whereas the Friday Night Delight, it's buried in your fingers like that, as I showed in that video. The trigger is very clean and very crisp. I'll just take a shot for you here. When you get into handheld releases, some of them can be expensive, like several hundred dollars. The Whippersnapper retails for around 130 in that ballpark um, but so right here as you can see I'm lightening up with my fingers you know so the a lot of that pressure is being taken off by that wrist strap and um, the trigger is just real nice and clean so I give the whippersnapper a good thumbs up if you're just getting into um, a thumb triggered release I definitely would say it's worth checking out also the barrel part here can rotate. You can loosen this screw here and rotate it to where you like it for your thumb. Now I've used, um, yeah, I tried a true ball thumb activated release when I first decided to try a handheld and I actually didn't like it. And um, when I compared that one to the whippersnapper, I really, this one just way better. I really love the trigger on these. So yeah, I mean, me personally, I like it. So I give it a thumbs up. Hope that helps. Till next time, take care. God bless.